Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset, and welcome to City Skylines. We're back in Animalia. We've got a little bit of industrial demand, and while I was scooting about looking around over here, I've noticed that we don't actually have any ore left under this lot. So there's not much point in that, keeping that lot scheduled for ore business. So what we're going to do is we are going to dezone this after we have rezoned this. So what I want to do is create more of a traffic scheme that's in keeping with what we want. So I want them to basically be going in this side and out that side so that it opposes the traffic way going down this way. Or I was actually thinking if I make it coming in both sides and then coming out down there, but that will just end up with lots of traffic having to recirculate back round to our train station. So my thought was have it come in that side and then go out that side. So what we want to start with is a one-way road. Let's start with a nice six-lane one-way road and get it roughly in the middle of our district and plow that road straight along to here, to here, and to here. Got a garbage dump there which is possibly going to get in the way but I'm not immediately concerned. But let's have that it goes in and then it filters out. So let's convert these to one-way roads and then just extend the... oh, I don't want them to be too many hmm... okay, let's just flat out demolish these roads while we have a quick think about what it is we want our fair new industrial area to look like I over demolished over there so that's actually fine because I've got that district over there to cause a bit of a problem so let's leave that road out for now let's just now if we switch to a Ooh, cycle lanes yes we switch to a two lane there and just bring it up to there just so that we can have A road here and here that doesn't connect. Okay, so that services that area there. I want exit points that are a reasonable difference distance from over there. So let's grab let's grab our one way road again. Have it come out to about there. Do 90 degrees about here and then filter in and then do the same on the other side see that was a two lane road along here yeah, so leave the two lane road in because that's just that little extra bit over here while well, I remember Rememberings is important. Uh, terrain, pathways, pavement. So you can walk, because walking is important. And go back to our road system. Nice runway road from there. Back to. Yep, with a one gap. shiny so that basically they have a loop that goes round so they can just keep going round it if they want I will probably also put on a system such as this to fill in that gap so you can just fill the back and forth as long as you want and then we will have our oh no they, actually no let's upgrade this lot no don't do that because then they're not one way anymore. So leave them as one way as they are, they're two lanes. Let's just in that case then grab one of these roads and we'll smack the midpoint about here. There we go. Not the most efficient loop in the world. Up, into there, down and around. And if you want to get out, you spit out this way. In and out, in and out, in and out. So it comes out the center, comes down, out, center, comes down, out. Let's 
reverse the direction of these ones. So it goes in and then to there. So I don't have to have traffic coming around the loop more than once. With that in mind, let's grab our big ass one ways again and then reverse the direction. Care of the little skiff doesn't bother me too much. And what we will do from here is we'll grab another one of these rows, stoke that in the middle, have it come out like this. Nice. So what we have here is a quite a heavy industrial zone where you come in here and then you split to many different directions all spreading out and making sure that you can get to where you want to go. I suspect a lot of the traffic is going to be coming out this side and heading this way, but making sure you can get to this side and then head on out is what I want. Okay, so that is all currently unzoned. Now let's start putting our industrial back in. So let's get rid of all the stuff along here. That is no longer actually on any kind of ore. What we will do is switch, once the last bits of ore are gone from the main, the section we've just zoned out. Now do we have, yeah there's power connections all the way running around the edge of this. So with that in mind we should go grab that, grab that, grab that, no not that corner, Grab that corner. Zone in that a lot. And then it should go a bit mental. <laughs> As all the trucks suddenly rearrange themselves. But all this now is completely dezoned and will quite soon empty itself. And I think I will probably, yes I know, not enough electricity, probably take the opportunity while this lot is regrowing and sorting itself out. Yeah, it's not too bad that it's a bit of a shortcut, but... Hmm. Heavy traffic. Because that's coming from my port. In, out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Buy new land? I know, I'm going to be looking at that later. I think what I'm probably going to do is actually... There's not a lot of point in having this actually as a two-lane road, getting up to this point, because it just causes a bit of confusion. Um, so I've got that. And bring me back up to ground level. So there's no longer any problem with having two lanes here to cause problems. It's all single lane apart from this bit because I want to keep the little bit of offices I've got around there. What I am thinking is that I want a couple of dedicated loops in over here. So let's get Traffic President out. Woo! And kill the speed and pause it. Change lane arrows. There. Left only, please. Don't think there are any lights. No. Good, good. Done. Got traffic president. Come back to traffic president. That I don't mind. That works fine. That's just leading, leading people off. 
what I want is to grab that and probably from here come to about there and do that so that trucks that want to go this way can go that way. Trucks that want to come out from here go this way. So we need to get Mr. Traffic President out again. The lane change arrows. And have that only left turn again. That will stop. Any kind of U-turn, so that gets traffic from the cargo hub gets the traffic to there going that way, to there going that way. They have no need to get to this section and come back down again unless they happen to be a particular orientation at which point. You can just go around the loop. Um, so the next thing I want to do is I want to bring traffic from here. So let's peel it off a little earlier. there so that you can get just a little faster go over here now because this is a slip road the lights I do not want there to be lights drive your president switch traffic lights there should be no traffic lights there Change lane arrows. No one in that lane. Do not want you using that lane. Use it afterwards, but not now. Right, once the lane guys are sort of out, we should see this trap. We got. Whoa! Okay, so. Got a lot of traffic. A lot of commercial trucks and the like. Making the way to the Avery. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. It's just all the way back up to there. It's a little busy for my liking. There are lights there. Hmm. Let's. Hmm. What could we do about this junction? Well, no, it's flowing, which is the main thing. It's not... It's queuing a bit, but ultimately it is flowing. That's a fire station without any power. There. So the trucks can turn right and get immediately into here and then get back out somewhere more expensive if they need to. Right, that's filling back in quite nicely. Don't have much of industrial demand. Loads of parked cars and people who apparently can't be bothered to park anywhere useful. So while we're here doing some rework, let's give this a bit of a tidy up and see, what better, see if we can make this a slightly better shape. I think the one-way system we just worked with is working quite well. Um, do I have any bus routes that have been prevaricated by this rearranging? Doesn't look like it. Just got to loop the loops round and then dips inside over here. Green route, apparently. Isn't that used to connect up? Uh, show me routes. Alright, we've completely removed the dark green route by now. Alright, let's quickly do some fixing of this. Because what I wanted to do was have it go from... Create new line. Yes. And then go from there... To... 
there, and then go back again, because essentially I would just want to tra uh, a long distance. Hmm? Really? Fine. Where is your... Alright, so you're starting there. So now go away. I want to create a new line. Alright, go from there to there. Drag a stop there. Delete. Complete line. Okay, right. Drag. Delete. Delete. Alright. Do I not? Do I not? Drag stop to move it. Go there. Go there. Go there. Three stops in close proximity to each other are not that fast. Come back to here. And then go. You cannot find a path. Come all the way down here. Cannot find a path. Come out there. Oh. That is going the wrong way. <laughs> that would be why it cannot find a path. Because it cannot. should be able to. So if I right click there and then left click, no it started a new line again. Drag stop to move it. Lots of dragging. And then I would like to complete the line. Alright. So, plenty of bus stops. So that's got an uh, loop and a link in there. We fixed the problem I had with the uh, traffic lead off here. So we were now looking at this. We were looking at this. Looking at this. What kind of one way system do we want to build in here? Like basically, one that kind of alleviates part of the problem with the transport we've got over here. So, think, 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 think. Yeah, let's scrub those two as well. And let's see. Yes, it did work. I built a roundabout. Hmm. I built a roundabout in the terrain editor. In one of the mod things. So, we can just grab that. And have it park in over there. We can do that bit. Go straight. No, let's stop that slightly. <laughs> Go straight, straight, keep the curvy bit on the end, and then we should be able to, the magic of highways,
Hmm, okay. Looks like we might be looking at... Boo! Noises tell me that's nearly time up. Probably going to have to... Well, I'm pretty sure that that roundabout is going the wrong way. I'm also pretty sure that that is a frankly offensive junction. Nope, looks like we're going to do a bit more work with reorganising this. You. Come into there. You. Come into there. You stand off that way. Down. From there, think up. I don't care about the kink. Chaos and drugs. Bus route sorted itself out. These guys now shouldn't have. There are now no lights on this at all. That will just merrily sort itself out. Nice. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. While we diddle around a little bit with our traffic system and just try and get everything moving a little bit. There's lights here again. There shouldn't be lights there. I don't, there didn't need to be lights. So let's get Mr. Traffic Private, the President, out. And turn the lights off. Shouldn't be lights there. Shouldn't be lights there. Shouldn't be lights there. Good. Done. Yeah, that's always going to be a slight snarl, I'm not too concerned. Traffic's getting in, traffic's getting out, traffic is moving. There's always a great big snarl down the centre here, but I have plans for this. It's going to involve an awful lot of work. A nice amount of cash. Traffic's a little bit of a pain in the ass here. But it's not as bad as it could be. Trying to work out what the immediate problem is. It just it keeps stopping, isn't it? It just you basically want traffic here to be going out of town. You don't necessarily want anyone in the way. So I think that we might be looking at doing a quick switcheroo in terms of the road. Hmm. Is this zoned? It's only for residential, I just don't have the demand at the moment. Alright, anyways, thank you very much for watching, gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been City Skylines. Please remember to like and subscribe.